Welcome everyone to another Tuesday Bloodstained blood stream. I'm of course, as usual, Shiv. I am the Krampus. And I am Hunter Green. Right, let's get right into it. I'm sure you all remembered how we ended last. Yes, uh, it went great. <laughs> Uh, we did. I did do one little thing off stream. <gasps> we have some bunny ears now. Oh! Yay! We also have bunny boots. Yay! Perfect for doing that nonsense with. Take this. Yep. Well done, Carabos. Hey, Carabos killed uh, <laughs> Bloodless, so. <laughs> Carabos, boss killer extraordinaire. Also, I did a check of our Twitch stream, and we are good on sound. Did you just skip a chest? Did I? No. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah I did. Yeah. It's not even one of the repeatables. It's literally it's a unique chest. Yeah, it's because I'd already grabbed it in a previous timeline. But you just walked past it right now! <laughs> yeah, but I knew I'd gotten the previous timeline, so... But the future refused to change. You know how this timeline stuff works? We've been playing, uh... Virtue's Last Reward. Ah, oh. oh, you got the axe! This axe got the question. Stop hiding in walls. Because this is a fair tactic. Said needs to be fair. There, we've done all that upward stuff. So I believe I was going this way to get myself killed last time. Got the ultimate power of chair. Yay! And I guess it's worth celebrating. Bouncing begins. Huh. All is going according to plan. With this bounce castle, our power is complete. Ow. Take this. Uh, so, question: As I recall, did you have to uh, grind lilums to get the bunny ears? Uh, yes, I did go and grind the lilums slightly to get the pieces for the. Technically, I went to get them for the pieces so we could get the the bunny boots. Yeah. Uh, but then also just got the. Uh, uh, in, in the process of doing that, when I went to go make the boots, we realized we could also make the ears for myself. Well. Uh, ears, yeah. uh, not super powerful, but have uh, like five luck. Most luck we can get on. Yep. A hat at nice. the uh, game. Also, did you get managed to get the shard off of the lily? Yes. Bunny Morphosis, yes. Uh, it's actually a pretty useful uh, gem if you level it up. It applies both your attack and your int to your uh, basic attacks in Bunny Morphosis form. 
And by eating enough of the MP recovery items, it's possible to keep it up indefinitely. I'm sorry, it applies your int attack and grade of the, the, the gem. gem. Get back here. Uh, also, while you're in Bunny Morphosis at certain ranks, you get certain abilities. At rank 3 of the gem, you get the Rapid Kick. Uh, which is a Chun Li style rapid kick that emulates the rapier's rapid attack. Just a weird focus. And at level six, you get the throw dagger ability. Yes, we like throw daggers. Yes, but you can throw daggers while in bunny morphosis and get the benefit of the added stat boost. Big wall on it. Ah. Ha 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 ha! Fine, there's enough fall damage in this world. Yeah, your legs are all full of shards. It's fine. Mm. MC Fun. I love that both in uh, Bloodless and Zangetsu mode, you instantly know that's a mimic because those modes don't have chat. Hey, this room I died before. Surely it won't happen again. <laughs> Quite, you. <laughs> also, but that great's another room. It's all one room that I told you about. In the super obvious room. The one that does not count. Diabolus tat? Yep. Alright. Good end and uh, do some defense. But since we have a cute bunny here, we'll keep those. Yep. Get that luck for better drops. Yeah. That, this level 5 luck is really good, actually. Open them all. <laughs> clang, 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 clang. <laughs> uh, I think that was it that we did last time that happened because I died, that we didn't do now because we died? Uh, yes. Sounds about right. I think it is time to... Chaser arrow. Not gonna risk it. Ah, uh, wait, no, I need to go up. I'm also using a different controller tonight, so uh, eventually one of your assholes challenges me to do a uh, triple kick across a gap. I'll actually be able to do it. You know, you have the right to refuse. No, I don't. 
Oh, I'm going to wait. It's powerless to resist. A, a challenge was issued. Issued. I must accept. There's no crushing damage either. <laughs> There's a Sonic. Yeah. Okay, so we have two options now, to my knowledge. We can do over here to go down in the hole in the well. Mm hmm. Or we can go suck up the blood so we can go down Bloodless's hole. Which sounds dirtier than I intended to do. Uh, uh, we should do the Bloodless one. Sure. Because if I remember correctly, the other well is just another way into the waterway area. And half that's still inaccessible. Yeah, I think the... Never gonna catch me! is... <laughs> Oh no, it's behind the door. That's fine. Mm -hmm. We gotta loop around the other way. And in Bloodless' mode, that door is not uh, locked. Oh. There are other doors that are locked, but that one is not. Quick. Hail Mothman. Hail Mothman. Mothman. Full of grace. I'm missing it, or is it doing tight? What you looking for? Uh, the I think it's red. There, it is red. There it is. Let's see. Oh, so much blood. Gorge yourself on blood. Drink it with a straw. You're using Rigastorama. Yes. Which I only know how to pronounce because, you know, constantly says it. Rigastorama! See? Walls like this, yeah, where you can another... clearly see a mesh, like a break point between them. Huh? There's another what? I was gonna say, you, I think you have access to another really good uh, directional spell right now, because I think you got the explosive blast one. I mean, directionals are different shards, those are. Uh, yeah. Here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the other. I think Bull Eye Blast Riga is the one I'm thinking of. Oh, you're thinking Bull Eye Blast? Yeah. I was thinking yeah. of Rigadohin, which is. We do have Rigadohin. As well as uh, Temps LCS and all sorts of fun stuff over here. Yeah, but yep. Bolite Blast is nothing special. It causes an explosion at a set distance away from you. The difference is, is that it's extremely powerful. So is her foot. Mm hmm. Not too bad. The bunny feet are powerful. Powerful meat. Get out of the ceiling, you coward! Its response was no. Hell, Mothman. Hell, Mothman. Hell, Mothman. 
Back to using uh, true R4 because it does chunks of damage. Mm -hmm. I missed. That's the nice thing about this game is that you have a lot of options for uh, good weaponry. Yep. This is the other side of the path that normally leads to the uh, the front of the castle. It's like a, sh a sharp sliver of ice towards people. I don't remember that one. I don't know if I ever got it my first time. Really? Yeah, I don't think I ever got that one either. Oh, I know I did. It's alright. It's not great, but alright. Was, uh, was it not directional? It was right, wasn't it? Yeah, by shot. Or Iska, sorry. Fish and mahogany. Rose ring. Mahogany. Rose ring, which I believe increases the amount of mana that you get from roses. Uh, yes, that is one of the rose rings. Yep. We also got the move at one point, which uh, makes your back jump better. Nice. I'm mean, not going to use it, but still nice. Correct. We are not going to use it, but it's the thing we have. There are certain builds you can go for though, that actually do really well with a better back jump. Okay, that is not a breakable wall. Oh, no, it is. Damn it. Okay, hold on. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, I don't have to do that. I mean, none of us said. This is all on you. The critical. Oh, I thought you were. I thought you were gonna do the other thing. No, I didn't have to. No. Oh, admittedly, once you get the laser power, it yeah. circumvents places where you normally. Need to fix. Yeah. Yeah. Give me your eyes. Thank you. This one should be, yes. Words of Wisdom. Yeah! I want to say eyes because it does, uh... That. Yep. Mm -hmm. It gives you glowy eyes. Oh, 
Oh, and of course, the shovel ignite. That's the shovel armor. If I remember correctly, or it also drops a. Uh... Oh wait, no, it's just the uh, the shard turns you into a shovel knight. No, no the, the shard. The shard does shovel the, knight. the the armor summon. turns you into a shovel knight. Yes. That's right. Yeah, if we get the shovel armor, it turns us into a shovel armor. It replaces your attack, gives you the shovel. Yep. Yeah. It's very similar to Bunny Morphosis. Yeah, it's similar to Bunny Morphosis, except good. it's an armor as opposed to a. Yeah. Just a shard. Mahogany. Mahogany. Another words of wisdom. Makes our words of wisdom better. Yep. Fires in both directions. Ah, Ruby. Defense less than the hyperventilator. Distort the wearing the voice change? I don't know if it actually voice changes or not. I don't think. This 
is the uh, back of that one locked door, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, somewhere else. Somewhere else entirely. Oh yeah, I used to back that locked door, yeah. Oh, that, oh. that door we saw moments ago. Yep. Just gives you a shortcut into this area now. Yep. I mean, it also has a max health upgrade there, so. Yeah. Yep. Ha! Ah. Fuck, oh, viewers. Excuse me, coming through. Oh yeah, augment the hell out of that in. Oh, the travelers run. Ah. Mm -hmm. gotcha. Which I still don't think you have enough of the map to uh, uncover to get really viable. Release Toad. Drop there. Fairy will do work if you ever summon it. Not great work, but it does quantify that work. Kill Bloodless. Good kill Bloodless. Got a shovel. I the tire of your nonsense. Programs. The get out of the fucking wall spell. Yep. Yep. You're in the ceiling? That's nice. Oh, triple strike, but for Samurai Swords. Sun Sets is on. Hail Mothman. Hail Mothman. Hail Mothman. So many neat things in this room. Thank you, fairy. <laughs> Another critical ring. Yep. If I remember correctly, most of the rings have doubled. Oh, 
It's a friendly chair. <sighs> Wee! Wee! I don't think it does it from this bubble. Hey, hey you got some more chair. chair. about this room in Bloodless is that they uh, have platforms. Oh, so you can just punch her up. It makes sense considering you're a lot closer to here at the start than you are normally. They still, however, have that chair. Who only wants to help. Yep, this is the... Singular, like helpful laundry chair in this place. Thank you, Barry. Hey, this trap guy. Benjamin, what are you doing here? Oh, sorry. Right before I went whoosh, I remember this huge waterfall I saw in me travels, and and um. You want me to kick you? That's I said I'm sorry. straight to being kinky. Can't we just try this again? Yep. Oh, oh, thank you for bringing this. Now remember, picture your house. Your house. Oh, well, I'm not daft, you know. Oh, before I go, let me give you this for helping me. Did I assume that worked or not? <laughs> Take a guess. It did not. If you, if you guess not, you are correct. Uh. I don't know, if I opened a chest and it didn't have what I wanted in it, but it did have $5,000, I feel pretty okay with that. $5,000, it's 5,000 gold. How much actual money that is in uh, Go back and strike that again. That looked like... Oh no, it was just a little bit of a something on the rock. It looked like cracks for a second. <sighs> Aha, you got fooled and got nothing. Denied. Survive. I don't remember if there's anything else in this room. I, so. I think that was the last hidden item in the truck. Yeah. yeah, the curry you can make with that recipe is actually really good. Like the, uh, like health wise. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's a pain in the ass to get out of the ingredient for half, for like half a shot. Crimson Storm. Hail yeah. Mothman. Hail Mothman. Hail Mothman. Not gonna go down? We're down eventually. I'm pretty sure this actually leads to the uh. Well, yes. Well.
actually we might as well get done now so we don't come back. Ha. I mean, technically the room you're in only leaves that treasure, but... So I made I made some uh, sad or discovered some sad news today. What's that? So back when I was young, my uh, mom and stepdad and I used to go to swap meet a lot. Uh -huh. uh, they'd sell, and I'd usually just wander around and occasionally buy shit. Uh -huh. And one of the things I used to buy is every time I'd go there, I'd get some jerky from a, a company called Smitty. Okay. Fucking amazing beef jerky. And uh, I've been picking up jerky with my food stamps card from the local grocer's outlet. And I was like, you know what? I've not had Smitty's in forever. I should go see, like, once you know, once the pandemic is over, see about trying to go to the swap meet one of these weekends. Just, you know, get that shit. So I decided to Google to see if Smitty's scroll goes to uh, the swap meet or not. Mm -hmm. And found out the uh, guy who ran the entire business died two years ago. Oh. That's unfortunate, too. Yeah. Like, I remember the guy being exceptionally nice and when it was at a point where I was effectively there every weekend, mm -hmm. like, there were times he would just give me a sample, like, oh, man, it's so dull, nothing's going on. Hey, want some meat jerky? Another shortcut. Shit was delicious. It was also a type of beef jerky I have not had in a long, long time. Most beef jerky seem to have, like, a, a almost tenderness to their treatment, where they kind of just flake apart. His beef jer jerky was that stringy type of beef. Ah. The one that you gnaw to try to uh, eat. And I've not had a beef jerky like that in a long time. Type that tests your teeth. Like, it'll be a battle. You know, know if you'll win. But man, does it taste good. If you lose, you won't have teeth. But you'll just be gumming that beef, so it'll take slightly longer to eat. Gum, 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 jerky. I love how the problem here is that Miriam knows how to swim. I mean, she knows how to float. I don't remember what uh, thing it is specifically that gives you the guard for it. I don't think it's a fish. No, it's not. No, it's jellyfish. It's yeah, I, jellyfish. I know what gives us the shard. We're just not at the place where we can actually get it yet. Uh. Should be getting there soon, I would think. We were come down. You were. Viewer, anybody? Gotcha. Oh. That was a guy I kind of liked until I found out how much of a raging asshole he is. My son's time? Uh huh. I, uh, I am, in retrospect, no longer sad that he seemed to get beat on his uh, TV or his, uh, his game show so often. Win Ben Sidon's money. Yeah. Yeah. I used to be, feel bad for him about how many times he lost. Now it's like, nah, nah that's about right. Ha. 
Here is the room. Yeah. There's a Kelpie. <laughs> or Glashton. We'll be back. All right, that's just the other side of the water room. We were in there a second ago. Being in frog things are fun. Frogs? Here it is. Backside of water. We can now explore the water areas. Yeah, I wonder if that's ever going to be something that can be done in the bloodless mode. Are you ready for awkward modes of transit? <laughs> nope, can't get that yet. Chest you can't open. At least it also Dead does bitch. damage. Mm -hmm. Thornius Filet. Give me a meat. Give me a good drop rate on that. And then there's this room. I have died in that room so many times. Yep. This is I a terrible spent, room. I have spent so many pizzas in this goddamn room. This. The water speed. Okay. Yes, this is increased movement speed underwater. Uh, okay. There we go. That was weird. I'm sorry, no, the next room is the terrible room. This is the room that I have spent, I have eaten so many pizzas in. Chest we can't get. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, for another chest we can't get. Mm -hmm. Dead eye fish. Mm. And it's time for the reason I've spent most of my time in this game grinding the hidden desert. It's the area that you can get gold in. Oh, just die. Sixty-nine dead. Oh yeah, it's just that poison. Poison use is important. Bye, everybody. Nice try, Bone Dragon.
Oh. All right, they're calm. Ow, bitch. <laughs> How dare you hit me in the face. Da, 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 da. Hail Mothman. Hail Mothman. Hail Mothman. Deliver us from our bloodlessness. We're not playing as bloodless. It's like, haha, you can't get me. Ah, lightning! <laughs> Go through walls, it's bullshit. That is a particular uh, favorite chart of mine. Have any? Nope. Nope. Oh. Well, you might want to consider going back and seeing if you can make new shit anyway. Take this. Eventually. Last time I listened, your people got me killed. Yes, except this time we're telling you to go back to you know a place that's not gonna get you killed. Oh. Is it I'm not asking you to go through an instant death room, okay? Also, right. yes. That thing at, uh... I'm trying to remember if it's grade or rank 9 is fucking disgusting. If you can get people in the uh, proper space. Yeah. Well, the time... It's specifically, it's a timing thing. It's when you know an enemy has stopped its movement, and you just hit it, all of the beams just instantly go to it and shred it. It's actually particularly good against big bosses. They want to know how the light tastes. No. Crystal. Yes. That is worth pretty uh, money right now. I'm not gonna lie, I have farmed those early on for, uh, or at this point, for money to uh, buy food chip. Like, this entire area's blue chest are a money-grinding point. When you're getting crystals as your pretty much best loot, that's generally about the time, like, where you're at right now. It's real good money for stocking up on food items and shit. And then later on, when you've got higher luck and are getting gold drops semi-regularly, oh my fucking god, money is never a problem. Lasting wound. Gold also used to be back uh, before the first major patch came out for this game. I'm sorry, for the first fixed patch. Uh, gold used to be how you broke the fucking game. Hmm. Well, you got the uh, thing that allowed you to occasionally transmute uh, or create more things in the game. Yeah. Um, at rank 9, grade 9, it was pretty much a guarantee that you get at least 2, sometimes 5. And everything at the time only took one Alkahest to, uh, break. And, uh, yeah, on. On. um, if I remember correctly, breaking gold, for whatever reason, got you an Alkahest. Mm. So you get one, uh, one gold, you'd break it down, so you'd get your Alkahest cost back, and then you'd craft, uh, gold, and basically get at least two guaranteed, and then break it down and repeat over and over again. Ah. It was an infinite money loop that just ended up like, oh no, I'm at max amount of gold. Better sell all but one. Oh, this is a weird shape room. Yep. yep. I'm sure that'll never come up again. That's the only room in this game that has oh. that thing. There's an A there. I wonder if that A means anything. Like Alfred. 
see me. Oh, hi, Alfred. What are you doing here, old man? Oh, Miriam, what are you doing here? I ought to ask you the same. I commanded you to leave this place. Are oh, those bunny ears? You're not taking my seriously. I don't, I don't want to talk about it. And I intend to keep it. Very well. This sigil was not meant for you. But we are far enough from the castle that it can contain you here. Goodbye, Miriam. And then he just leaves, putting another one of those aces on the door. You're never able to break it. Wait, no, he's, he's fighting you? Oh. Uh, not the smartest, but okay. Oh god, he's tapped into the speed force. You missed. Ow! Okay, you didn't miss your poison dial. Asshole. There it is, alchemy. No. I like it when she whips me. But I don't let her know it. You just did. Shit. Also, he has covered the entire arena in white. As one does. Like, he's just throwing those vials that contain his, you know, special potions Essence. at you. Yeah. Start with this. Oh, yes. Start with it. Ow! Tex Avery! Tex Avery! Tex Max! Tex Max! Tex to Morpheus? This punch cake. That's fried fish. This place is just lousy with sponge cake. It's like Jeebles comfort food or something. I'm in the library and I want a snack. I want to be able to have sponge cake in the library. I'm gonna mix this bleach and this ammonia and oh shit. <laughs> Put this lime in this coconut. I put this crime in the coconut. Essence of crime. Essence of crime. First you steal a five dollar bill from a child, then you jaywalk across the street, blend it into a fine powder, and then snort it off of uh, a no speeding sign. Essence of crime. Yes. One of these things in my junior chemistry kit has to work. Oh, that's the good stuff. Also, I'm on fire. The only way he knows how to feel. Please stop dropping ice on me. No, it's not very nice. Stores are almost completely covered in his essence now. Yep. It's not 
have you do? I keep trying to run away, but every time she's just there in front of me again. I don't get how circles work, okay? Orbs, spheres, fine. Circles, no. Got him. What Bill Nye's weird alchemist cousin beats this? To be fair, he did not bring any healing items. No. Ron Ferry. Get yourself two boss kills. <laughs> Barry wants it six hit points at a time. Trying. But to be fair, you're, you're doing go. a lot of work dodging hey. it, and yeah, there you go. Yeah. This power you have is even greater than I imagined. I must get back the book. That will never happen. I have to make it happen. I have waited too long for this chance. Our last chance. I'm leaving. You know what's great? What's that? How many of rooms for, uh, worth of combat stuff you still have to get through? <laughs> yeah, deep sinker. And now you learned how to not float. Yep. Not floating is yep. a demon power, thank you very much. Oh wait, no, I forgot they actually have a save room right there. Yeah, there's a save yes. room right here. It's fine. And then he gets hit anyways and dies. <laughs> Enemy out of nowhere. Hail Mothman. Hail Mothman. Hail Mothman. May the flapping of his wings bring you tidings of great battle. He is the savior of progress. With his sigil, the great uh, Rebecca Kedron. Philosopher's oblong triangle. <laughs> well, I was specifically going with the Castle of the Night reference. Uh. So, uh, in Symphony Night, the save rooms, there's a giant D20 floating that turns into, uh, turns into shards that form a coffin. And that is uh, how you save. Whee. But it is the almighty Dodeki, which must be the, uh, the great symbol of, you know, the mighty Mothman. Savior of progress. Oh, where could I be? Not that room. <laughs> Yay. Yay! Yeah, this is, by the way, a great place to farm those up. These upgraded boors are uh, kind of a pain. Yes, they are. And the assholes. You got oh, these guys. Dragon? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Living fossil. Death, 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 death. They suffer being large. Yeah. Yep. Which uh, one of the reasons why I might be suggesting you go back to. Uh, the town and everything might be because it might be a quest to kill them. Meh. Dang it. 
<laughs> Fine, you get to live. You don't, though. Just more poison if you ever equipped it. Arceus! Not dealing with your shit frogs. That is understandable. I'll be honest, if I remember correctly, this that was the shard I used mostly in this place. <laughs> Stop it! Ass. Damn it! Ambrosia! Weighted ring. I actually don't remember what that one does. Ah, oh, that's right. Uh, that's right. Yeah, Chris, you're oh. and take. Yeah, throw a spear. Throw the spear. Dragon shard. Complete ah, resist thrust. thrust. Very rare platinum mahogany crystal. That cat. That cat's fine. You're the bear person who's bad for hitting it. The ultimate dish. Demon eyes, which we need for uh, upgrading something. Uh, upgrading the uh, int 
Captain if I remember correctly. In trial. Ah, I will be back. Yep. Ah, oh, steel lightning. It was above it. Yep, there it is. Steel lightning does power aggressive amounts of damage. Fairy scarf. There's a little luck we got a little ant. We'll keep it just so we have the little luck. A little bit better drop rate. Targets for me. Here's what I've turned up on the good. Ah, which gets us some steel. Here's what good work. Silver. Have you learned anything? Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. Good. Kill Revenant, kill Millionaire's Bane, kill six Demon Lords, thirteen Gusseons, six Lamashtus, four Living Fossils, and six Arcanes. And a partridge in a pear tree. Macaroni Grotten. That's right. Macaroni oh, Grotten. I'm pretty sure we need Beast Milk Porch, why I couldn't make it earlier? I think so, yeah. Are you eating properly? What are we transmuting this time? Uh, macaroni Grotten. Uh, we need two pasta and one white sauce. Sauce, we need butter and flour. Butter, we need milk. Come back in. Even though I've learned to jump in midair, there are still places in the castle I can't reach. Even Zangetsu must be scratching his head. What? But I heard Zangetsu had developed the ability to fly. Uh, to fly! What? Here, he sent a message arrow. In the searing hot caves, seek the strange demon. Strange demon? That's it? He says he saw the demon falling up. Ah, so it's not flying, it's just falling. With style. Sounds like finding that demon is my best lead. I agree. Now, is there anything else you need? What are you looking to buy? Like we have made butter before, so we just grab butter. Is this round any thanks? I need a milk. Is this when we have a deal? Is this right? Thank you. Don't remember what else we need. Are you eating? What are we transmuting this time? I'll go with this. Some pasta. Great. Uh, pasta mead, another flower, and two eggs. Promise you. I have. St what are you looking to buy? Is this when we have a deal? Flour, Is there two eggs. Thank you. I'll... Hi, 
Hi, Miri. What are we transmuting this time? I'll go with this. Great. I like macaroni grunt. I'll go with this. Great. We can also make a strawberry oolong. I'll go with this. Yes, which is another one of the MP quick charge. Yeah. Great. Promise you'll stop. Are you e so? What'll it be? I'll go with this. I'll go with this. I'll go with this. Emeralds, we don't have. Uh, Augment hand requires a fiend die, it's not even nice. Uh. I'll go with this. I'll go with this. Uh, can't operate here anymore. Those are bombs. Okay. Gonna save me for us? Delicious. Nope. Uh, oh, bitch. Some for me? Secretly an eating I demon. Just keeps eating all the time. Ah, uh, furious eating You're demon. You're welcome. Don't give up. You're going to get through this. You're not getting that dish back either. <laughs> oh, here's a kukri. Is there anything else you'd like? Thank to you eat? for the macaroni. Here's a knife. Actually, but hey, I'll help you figure it out. A classic sweet. We baked in all shapes and sizes. I suppose I'll stick around and wait a little while longer. Cookies! Hi, Mir. So, what'll it be? Egg and flour. Come back. I have. What are you looking to buy? Is this any thanks? Is this right? Then we have a deal. Thank you. Get this plate of cookies. It's. What are we transmuting this time? With this. Great. Come back in. Did you bring it? I did, in That's fact, it. bring cookies. How did you know? Oh. Oh, I can't wait to try it. Oh, it's delicious. Just ate an entire <laughs> thing of macaroni gratin, then just ate a handful of cookies. I feel yep. a little better. Thank you, miss. You're welcome. Don't give up. See those eyes? Those aren't really eyes. They're just tiny mouths. <laughs> Is there anything else you'd like to eat? Oh, yes. Yes. Children. Actually, but hang it all, I can't remember what it's called. I'll help you figure it out. Something spicy. I suppose. 
suppose I'll stick around and wait a little while longer. I have something new. What are you looking to buy? <coughs> Is this right? Then we have a deal. Is this right? Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> oh, Now she wants curry. It's good to see you. So and we did just find curry recipes. Yeah. <coughs> oh, dang it, sorry. So if we make some curry sauce, we can make three different kinds of curry. Curry sauce requires mocha leeks though, which we don't have. Promise you'll stop Jeebel no matter what. So we're kind of at a stopping point there. Yeah. Let's go see what we need to go bury more dead people. Yep. Uh, journal. Uh, journal. Uh, quests. It's required a tea dress. So, what will it be? Uh, requires cotton and dreadful rags, which we don't have. Uh, for ourselves, though, we can make a silk dress. Start to go awry. If we can just buy a tea dress. I have some. What are you looking to buy? No. Thank you. I'll have to do some off screen ingredient grinding later. Yeah. Over here. Hail Mothman. Hail Mothman, full of grace. May he teach the eating demon the ways of eating sweaters and other fabrics instead of foods, <laughs> that we might all not starve. jump back and hit a couple rooms in the desert we didn't do. Yep. This desert is a very big area. Yep. It's got a lot of roundabouts too, just like circles that all collapse into each other through the various... Uh... Yeah. Not to mention a bunch of places where you can fall through the floor to reach new areas. Yep. This is what happens if you debone your dragon and don't properly dispose of stuff. Well, they did dispose of it, because I ended up here, in this desert. I just flush dragon bones, that's how you get skeleton dragons. Case in point. Arr Look at the dough. Love and attention to fix his issues, not lightning bolts to the face. It's like a shock collar. It's not all like a shock collar. I'm 
traveler's hat. Wide hat, extended journals. Yep. But, but loses a uh, luck, so we'll. What I ended up doing uh, was I ended up making a separate thing that had all of my traversal skills and all of my luck stuff, and then just went grinding for stuff with that, and then had a regular magic and a regular physical build. That seemed to work out the best. <coughs> At least for the way I was playing. A slow beam. Ah, a lazy beam. Potent ammunition. Oh. I'll take the potent projectiles for 100 hours. Oh, Picture of how most rooms end once you have sex on I don't want to deal with your nonsense. Lightning. Lightning. She just leaned over and booped you. She did. I didn't agree to it. What did I miss? Uh, we made some food. Made some food, feed, fed to the eating demon, got some stuff. Demon in old woman's clothing. Yes. Mouths for eyes. Has a real, like, Eastern European kind of mythology feel to it. You know, it's funny. Because you said the, the DVD. So if I remember correctly, she wanted a... Uh... Macaroni gras. She wanted macaroni Yeah. Yeah. But you're she, not getting that dish back. But you made. She ate the entire dish. So, uh, while I was away, I was making dinner. Macaroni and cheese. Oh. oh. Macaroni non gras. Well, macaroni gras. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That was three. I think you can check requests in your menu. You can. Yeah, that was four. There, number four. There we go. find it funny that you mean like you mentioned like oh yeah no we fed the uh the eating game and i'm like wait 
Didn't she want? And I look down at the bowl in my hands, like, uh, it's gone. Even for that. Oh no. Can't get up there. If only there was some ability you could get later on that would allow you to go up there. Indeed. We've exhausted the underground pathway for now. At least this part of the underground pathway. Thankfully, yeah. there's a handy dandy teleport room. Yep. So we need to do the rest of the waterways. the rest of the waterways because uh, that leads us to the fire area that Zangetsu was talking about. Well, it leads us to uh, a research area and then the fire area Zangetsu was talking about. Yep. Another flame one. I don't care. You get to live. Yay! The dragon that lives but didn't want to. Uh... <laughs> You do move very slow in water. Mm. I thought it was coming to the forces over and over again before. Take this. The nice thing, though, is since you're underwater, that one shard takes no uh, yes. MP whatsoever. You can't just infinitely jump while you're underwater, so... Yep. And I did something today that I've not done in a while. I remembered, before eating the, da or the uh, dairy-based food, to take my lactate. Ah, there you go. The Strider Belt. It was one of those things where, like, I had it in the microwave because, uh, while I was out at the grocer's outlet today, I noticed that Chef Boyardee has a canned, uh, macaroni and cheese. And I'm like, I will try it, since it's 99 cents a can. It's passable. It's not great. Passable. But, uh, as it's I was waiting for it in the microwave, hard I'm to like, make mac and cheese? <laughs> my, uh,. My uh, saucepan, the one I cook mac cheese in, uh -huh. has a scratch in it, so I need to replace it. Ah. Which sucks because I discovered this immediately after I bought a uh, bunch of the box craft mac and cheese mm -hmm. for 50 cents a box, which is a real good deal. But, you know, nothing I could do. You know, unless I want them to Teflon poison, or whatever that stuff they put on there is. Delicious, delicious Teflon. Yep. There's a slash. Why is there fried fish in this chest underwater? Well, maybe you're really swimming in batter. And it got really, really hot. No, no, it's just the oil that the fish fried in, and then you're very cool. I mean, obviously, whatever sealed inside of the chests uh, stays perfectly fresh forever. That's why we keep mm -hmm. finding all this uh, delicious food. So it was fine until you opened the chest and lit all the water. Look, all I'm saying is these chests may be remnants. <laughs> Good job, Fairy. Hey, Fairy's trying. Let's do the best you can. I said it was a good job! Also, more fresh it.
Why does everyone assume I'm being sarcastic when I say good job? I mean, I'm usually sarcastic when I say it, but See? why does everyone assume it? We know better. Quantic filet. That was your eighth one of those. Yep. Let's go here real quick. Never have to murder more of those again. Still do it anyways. Kill you your... know, so you can make that more powerful. Kill your throne power. I bet that was satisfying. I'm down jumping onto a bat. Uh-huh. Let me get smush that thing. Like, you killed it too with one shot, despite the fact of not having a uh, combat boot on. Well, I mean, yeah, it's a bat. It has like a hit point. Yeah. Yeah. So it's got more than one. I have seen bats survive a hit before. Also, apparently that's really good against the uh, Shovel Knights. I didn't know that. It's actually quite powerful against practically everything. Yeah. It's just one of those like abilities that annoys you because you have to use it for traversing the underwater parts, and they're kind of annoying when you can't do regular movement underwater. So you're yeah. like, as soon as you don't have to use them, you're like, oh, I don't have to use this anymore. But then you forget it's actually a pretty good constant damage attack. for cooking. And you will continue to cook over and over and you will like it each time. That is not true. There's a reason why it's generally more effective to grind out money to buy uh, already made foods than it is to grind out the materials to continue making multiples of food. No, you just want to make the ones to get the stat boost. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. I bet you can hardly wait till you can get bovine forms. I mean, that's a way away. Actually, that far away. They're Oriental Research Lab. I'm aware. They're like the last area oh, of the we're... game. Uh, last, like next, next to last, second, to next to last. What did you need the uh, plumes for? Uh, being able to craft the high jump. Uh, Buddy Morphosis has apparently. No, no. When I say high jump, I need the one that just sends you straight flying up. Yes, there is a oh, like hyper okay. jump. else do I need to go now? Yeah, now Bunny Morphosis has a higher jump, but the high jump skill is quite literally just okay. go up until smash into the ceiling. Yeah. I mean, but bovine plumes are used as like a final upgrade of material in like half the shards in the game, feels like. It's mostly the traversal shit, if I remember correctly. Like, anything that would aid with traversal, I believe, requires... Uh, two or three bovine plumes. Well, most of the high-end shards require bovine plumes yeah. eventually. Yeah, but no, just the fact that to craft the high jump requires one. Yeah. And they tease you with it so early. <laughs> this one just perpetually hitting you for one damage, which you know might actually eventually do something with as low health as you have. Poor lift etiquette, and you. We want some. <laughs> you should probably help off, Manson. Right here. 
I wasn't sure that you were gonna go up there. It looked like you were gonna go to the uh, left. Just had to clear out the shit first. Hell, my friend. Hail Just reminding you, the Hail Muffin. Just remember, the last time that you did not immediately go and hail Muffin after a significant progress. To be fair, I was, I was fine until you guys brought up, oh, go hail Muffin. No, no, we specifically said that you should hail Muffin, and hey, look, there's one right there that that you then, walked then through I went, a death room to avoid. And then I had to go back then, through the death room to get to it, and I died going back through because you guys wanted to hail Muffin. To be fair, you were dealing with uh, death rooms no matter which way you went, period. And I just kept going. And that was just fine. the closest one. Detective's eyes. Ah, yes, that one. That fantastic ability that I think I got after I had found almost every hidden room anyways. Fairy, show me where there are anyways. Yep. No, she's slow about it. You know, she'll, like, wait for you to break a wall and say, Hey, Master, there's a breakable wall here. She's doing the best she can. Yeah, I know. I'm not disparaging her. I'm just saying that that's her tendency. She's like, I'm going to wait till they discover it and then call it out. Sound, sounds so an awful light. Like you're like, oh, yeah, good job, fairy again. Yeah, that's on you for interpreting it that way. Not me, for the way I say it. Look, the fairy comes to me every night complaining about how she's being mistreated by you. The hell she does. I have, to, I have to deal with fairy counseling. She can't come to you at night. I, I stick her in a goddamn bottle. This is why she needs counseling. <laughs> You're a look, monster. Look, I was just taught that that's how you house fairies. It's not my fault Link was my teacher. To be fair, she's not a fairy. She's a demon. House them in little tiny houses. I don't know. I've never seen a fairy village. I mean, you'd probably be a bad thing if I did, considering how I currently treat them, according to you guys. Also, that is true. She is a demon, so why are people bitching about how I treat her? She's a demon. And? Demons have rights, too. No, they don't. Uh, that's why we have well, wars with the demon, demon kings. Is this, are, you, are you a demon sympathizer? Do we have to put you down for heresy? Why wouldn't you want to sympathize with demons? They don't do anything bad. Y yes, they do! That's literally the whole reason why you're here is because, hey, demons have shown up, and that's bad! No, the whole reason we're here is because alchemists fucked up. Yeah. And then blame their problems on the demons. No, remember, the demons were killing humans because they broke free of the fucking alchemists. Because the alchemists Look. summoned demons to begin with, they were losing power. Had the alchemists not fuck up, the no, demons no. would not be an issue. I acknowledge that the, the alchemists the have demons up. weren't the running demons ran rampant until the alchemists decided to summon a bunch of demons because they're a bunch of fucking idiots. That's true, but the demons that are here are evil. Very clearly, the fact of the first thing they do when they're free is say that, fuck up all of humanity. That kelpie was running away from you until you hit it with a garden hose. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, that kelpie was running face first into a rock. It needed to be put down for its own safety. <laughs> These demons see, just wanted to see. live in peace in the demon world, and a bunch of alchemists dragged them out of their home. Yes, and then they started killing innocent humans who had nothing to do they, with the alchemists. They weren't That's innocent. That's alchemy propaganda. Exactly. And the church exterminates all the demons. They were doing that before the demons showed up. Someone by the alchemist. It's not my fault you're blinded by alchemist and church propaganda. Look, I've lost family to demons, okay? Probably started it. See, there it is. Damn these sympathizers. You hear that one scream? Does it die? <laughs> yeah, I'm not the one killing him. You are. I mean, what would happen if you just went, tried to go past them, and let them do their thing? Well, let me. I just walked yeah, by. They would kill you. They no. would kill you. It's yeah. they're evil. I didn't say it would kill me. I said it would have let me. I just walked right by. Oh, then do it. Don't kill any more demons. If they're so good and all. That's this run. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I will allow for 
the obvious execution of bosses because they don't let you leave the room. Wait, what? That's Dominique. And Alfred? This was your proposal, Exorcist. Explain yourself. I should have been there. But you broke your word as well when you laid that trap for me. I wasn't about to allow the book to fall into your hands. <laughs> Why would I want it? Burn it. Perhaps Churches do with books that aren't their own, right? Someone has been putting ideas in your head. Uh, Miriam. Huh? Hi. Dominique, why do you keep showing up in very weird places? No yeah, how'd you get here? She was trying to find the bathroom and got lost. <laughs> like, like, seriously, how'd you get here? Do you know how much shit I had to do to get down here? So the trap Alfred laid was for you? Yes, and that's why I sent Zangetsu to deal with it. He has the power to stop Alfred from teleporting. I thought he might be able to contain Alfred while we dealt with our bigger problems here. It makes sense. Is this power to stop Alfred from teleporting and jamming a sword through him? Good power. I don't want you to get the wrong Probably not. It's probably the seals. So I suppose I had better during the demon outpouring ten years ago. They were killed in battle. See? So I have my reasons for hating demons. And that accursed book. I'm so sorry. You must hate us all for it. I let go of the hatred years ago. Did you? All that matters now. Did you really? Is that I gain control of the Liba Logaith and prevent it from ever being used for evil again. All right. I'll help you. I don't trust you. Thank you. I know who we should give the book I'll to. Do all I can for you Gebel? in turn. No, OD. Oh yeah, from his library. Yeah. Yeah. That's reasonable. Just let him know, like, hey, this is a very special book. Can you just make sure that this never leaves this room? Uh, I should go back and finish exploring that area before we head into new zone. Just see if we can borrow another book from OD. I don't remember if we can give the three yet, but... Oh, sorry, Mr. I. Sorry I was in your way. What's wrong with this country? See, he's attacking you, and he, even though you're not attacking him. He wasn't attacking me. I happened to be standing yes, in his way, and he bumped into me. That happens. He did his petrifying eye beam at you. He can't he help it. He only attack. does his petrifying eye beam. He has to do it whenever he moves. Look, that one is chomping after you, okay? It's just happy. That's yeah. what it does with its mouth. Kelpie's just minding his own business. That one seemed to be coming for you. No, it's just swimming. Oh, sorry, Kelpie. Sorry I was in your way. Excuse me, I'm going to get this chest. Thank you. Fairy! Okay, <laughs> no. The demons are allowed to scrap among each other, okay? <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry I was in your way. Didn't mean anything by it. I'm trying to remember if that wall's breakable. <laughs> and y yeah, no, I don't think there's any way for me to do it without accident. Okay, no. Have a good day. Thank you. Oh, do you now speak for the demons? Literally in this uh, in this stream. I am the Gorax. I speak for the demons. <laughs> You think you're at fault? Think you're at fault? Then you must be treating them as fucking bats. <laughs> see, there you go. Killed for that terrible so, run. So for the the bats, it's fine to kill. I see well, the bats are actual bats. They're, no, they're, they're actual demons. They're demons figuratively. <laughs> they are literally demons. Like just because we've labeled them as demons wasn't they are demons. Everything in that bestiary is a demon, and the bats are in there. They specifically give you shards. They have to be demons. They could have just eaten shards. Yeah. They give you the shards to summon their own kind. They are literally demons. Eh, debatable. 
I don't believe the science. What's the thing about science? We're talking about demons here, that's not science. Demons is a science. Alchemy summon. I mean, technically it would be demonology, but... The study uh, alchemy. of... Uh, the study of demons. Alchemy, is apparently, is what the study of demons falls under. No, no, I think alchemy is literally just the method of which they summon the demons. But the act, like, study of demons itself would still be demonology. Oh, sorry. Though I still question how they're able to summon demons with alchemy at all things. I was gonna make the comment about demons, but no. Man made this. Oh, that that wasn't necessary. Take this. I, I understand the hatred between our people, but I don't want to propagate it. <laughs> Maybe they're upset you're breaking their lights. A chair! See, they're civilized. Yep. No, remember, this place has been made by humanity. Yep. So I'm breaking humanity's lights. Yep. No, humanity's lights are uh, orange. Demon lights are purple. You're especially the, the uh, demon lights. Okay, fairy, I need you to do your thing. I need to beef on the turf because I'm not allowed to fight. I didn't say you couldn't fight. Oh. I just saying that you were being a hypocrite for you know. Trying to stay on their side while also killing them. I'm not killing them anymore. Hey, what's that over there? Oh my god! Look what's shown no, up to I, fight these where, demons! Where did Miriam go? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I would love if that uh, allowed them to not be aggressive to <laughs> Oh, Miss Lilum's going wild! This Lilum's gonna stop her before she hurts herself. Miss Lilum's getting her ass kicked. <laughs> Ah, mm -hmm. uh, uh. uh, go to warp point. Oh, hey, Miriam jumped back up. Yeah. Oh. Miriam, did you see that Lilith? Yeah, that was weird. I'm now a fan of the lore that we have going here. <laughs> you now have to fight everything. <laughs> Damn, the Lilums are really trying to trying to expand their turf. If you ever decided to stream uh, Zenketsu and uh, and Bloodless, you would have no problem. Because you know Zenketsu being a demon hunter and Bloodless being a demon. Perfect fine. Yeah. Gets is part of the problem. Yeah, but Zangetsu's not trying to change his ways. Yeah. Like, Zangetsu is lore wise not trying to say that demons are uh, acceptable. He's a uh, demon bloodthirsty murder machine. Whoops! Oh, oh, I saw it! Nope, nope, too late. I saw it! It was an accident. These things happen. You got Miriam right there is just showing how much she truly feel or how she truly feels about the demons. She has to whip them all. Take this. I can read this book. Gable's efforts have supplied us with a large quantity of shards. Now that the children are being trained, we have begun shard binding experience to great success. One girl in particular, Miriam, seems to have boundless potential, both in terms of many shards she can wield and to what magnitude. If my calculations are correct, then we have finally amassed enough crystal to perform the great demon summoning, because again, we're alchemists, we're a bunch of assholes. It has mm -hmm. long been the arduous path, and we're going to ruin the relationship between the human and the demon worlds. Mm -hmm. But we'll soon reach an end. My old friend continues to oppose this ritual because he has morals. <laughs> However, uh, to gain as much, we have sacrificed as much. 
is the basic principle of alchemy. Equivalent exchange. Mm -hmm. If you want to summon demons, you have to kill a bunch of kids. That's right. One kid per demon. It's only fair. Also, there's a Mothman right here. Hey, I'm Mothman. Hey, I'm Mothman. May the twitching of his antennae bring peace between the humans and the demons. You have uncovered two thirds of the map. What's this? This oh. is a pretty easy fight. This is. Ow. If you don't get caught with, uh, with, uh, katana techniques. When do we get that? Ow. Give me your shards. It's so funny if you could cancel out the flame stream with water. Yeah. Oh, that was bullshit. Ow. Oof. I think saved right beforehand. Also, you do have macaroni gratin. Some macaroni gratin to eat. And some cookies. Some and cookies. And this strawberry udon. And really a bunch of fried fish. <laughs> yeah, that one area is just full of fried fish. I have the feeling that's not got all goes down level well together. <laughs> eh. Not bad. Yeah, she seems to have better shards than you. Yeah, it's bullshit. Well, see, she's been propagating the war between the humans and the demons. So, of course, she has more demon shards than me. It's not even that she has more. I think she just has better. Like that. I don't think you ever get a summon a fucking dragon. <laughs> Also, I don't think you get a flamethrower with that. I kind of find stupid. Uh... No, that one just fires a fireball. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, it's okay. I know how good that one is. <laughs> that used to be a cornerstone of my uh, fucking arsenal for a while. Like, what's that? It's a giant ball of fire that continues dealing damage as long as it's standard. Okay! That's not great. <laughs> Everything's fine. Just gonna eat some fried fish. Don't mind me. <laughs> Granted, we have the best power of all. The ability to stop time and eat as much as we want. The world as, buffet. As opposed to later on, we do get the world. Yes. I'll get the Shadow Tracer. Yep. Also known as, do you want to fuck things up? Yep. Yeah, that uh, that ability with uh, whatever the upgrade is to Rava Burrow. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, my only regret that you can't have that and the world uh, active at the same time. Same, 
slot. Yep. I'm just gonna save real quick. I'll be back to farm you later. It's not very peaceful of you. Huh. No, we're gonna start a farm. Ah! That is peaceful. A mob farm. <laughs> Spike breastplate. My first plate is at least amusing. It's a little bit less defense. Uh, it's more defense, but we lose our int mind. Uh, the amusing thing about it, though, is it does just do damage to everything, so it auto breaks lights. Yep. Deck me for our self defense. Uh huh. This goes to prove that demons are evil. You had to defend yourself against evil demon. I am in their home. This isn't their home. This is a this? lab that they are squatting in. Who owns the lab? Humanity! You well, know, humanity as in a coal doesn't own labs. Okay, this is technically the alchemist lab. All knowledge that. But they're still squatting in there. And who's in charge of the Al or the uh, castle right now? Take this. Is it, is it uh, Jeebel's castle? Who's a member of the Alchemists and thus letting them all live here? It's fine. Uh, no. You attack first. So I wish I knew it was up with this. The cow? Yeah. Yeah, I have no idea. It does! It's a cut purse, right? Just like, here's this, like, nothing uh, else in the game is like this thing. Money drop. What's that? I believe that's the one thing. Money drops? The cut purse. Or part. increases damage based on the amount of money you have, I think. Uh, no. That, that's oh, more, more like to drop home. Yes. Uh, plunder yeah. ring is more likely to get uh, item drops. Yes. Uh, which means we'll no longer have the hyperventilator. We'll instead, have a blunder See, ring. You were asking about the bowl. Yeah. Yeah. Why the bowl's there? Uh, granted, this place is supposed to be like a bunch of execution methods. That's probably the brazen bowl. Brazen Bull was a unique method of execution in which they made a giant bronze bowl that was hollow in the middle. They put someone inside and locked the them fire. in. Yeah, yeah lit a fire. And then, you know, cook them alive. Huh. Take this. Oh. does not like the uh, spray bottle. <laughs> like water. Also, good thing I got a bunch of these. Yep. Dirty, I'm just trying to give you a bath. Oh, that kills me. Sorry. Yeah, giving someone a bath with a pressure hose probably a bad idea. <laughs> Get to drink That's from a lot of the fire hose. <laughs> <laughs> lucky, lucky, luck, dude. Gotcha. <laughs> you know, this thing's like, nope. Nope, saw what you did the last one. Take Don't want a bath. Get down here. Cat didn't do anything wrong, didn't 
spray bottle. Everything got the spray bottle. I forgot how small that zone is compared to a lot of the others. Yeah, it's basically just like the Miriam fight and uh, a couple little things. And here we have the magma room. And there's a good chance I will die in this area because I do not like this area. That's understandable. The enemies here are decks. Can't walk further. Those guys just that's what you're doing. Cram your gullet with fried fish. Ha, fuck you! Excuse me. Oh my curry powder! Oh right, this is where you farm curry powder. That's why I love, dog. In the I love uh, of the underworld. I, I love the dish, but hate where the what it takes to get it. Because there are multiple curries. Yes, there are multiple curries. Dragon Talons. Also, the damn bug. Oh, kind of more thing. That's that thing. Blood bug. Ah, 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 ah. Cram it on in there. Red will remember it. Yes. Increases your stats, your health drops. I'm sure that's not anything bad. And that fucker right there is where you get uh, the luck one. There's actually a very good farming point for him. Time for a shitty room! Yep. yep. And that's why I hate them. They're really good at just sniping you out of the air when you're trying to jump and shit. Well, it's like them, and then the fire elemental, fire elemental things are running around. These assholes go through walls. Take this. Doing that shit. Which way I want to go here. I think you find the way you're going. Well. Yeah, there's always a lot of twists and turns in this area. It's just a couple of uncomfortable platforming sections up to the boss. Yeah. Bad dog. That right there is the uh, farmable one. Uh, next room over, I think, is actually the better room for the base one. Or a teleport one. What's that? The uh, next room over. It's either teleport or a save. Save. Hail Mouth Man. Hail Mouth Man. Hail Mouth Man. Keep us safe from the flames with the breeze of your beating wings. Sometimes that happens. He decided to leave? No, he died. It's just his body decided to dash all the way down. What I do find amusing is that um, 
they don't wake up and just hit them with this. Yeah! There's that augmented look. Yeah, so oh, they drop the hugging. Has a volcano erupted? The skies are dark as night, and the skies are red as blood. Or the days are as dark as night, and the skies are red as blood. The very picture of hell. How long must this go on? Our crops are ruined, and the phenomenon is certain to have an ill effect on the people as well. But perhaps this is opportune. Aside from God, the time of the ritual is nigh. The skies remain unchanged, and as expected, my superiors are called upon me to perform the ritual despite my friend's objectives or objections. His opinion carries little weight in the face of the guild's nearly unanimous support, because they're a bunch of assholes. I must away, and the ritual will perform ten days hence. I have many preparations ahead of me. That's the teleport room. Got the shard, we'll save real quick and then do. Bye. My planet needs me. My planet's in the core. Cow Mothman. Cow Mothman. Yeah, Mothman. This thing. It's a Gamma Metroid. Wait. It's a bunch of just skulls. That is it. It actually does have a, a lot of moves very similar to that of the uh, Gamma Metroid from Samus Return. Save room is right above this. the second uh, boss movie we faced that has no arm. Look, it doesn't need an arm, it just needs little spitty lasers on its back and the ability to hawk up giant curse balls. Yeah, I'm just noticing that's like an interesting design thing. And got no legs. Between the double jumper and this. Yeah, I wonder what ability we're going to get from it. I mean, sure, the thing that we got from Double Jump wasn't a Double Jumper. It literally flew. It was like a bird thing, so... Yeah. Shoop. that this one's not terribly complicated no no it really doesn't have any rage things halfway through it really doesn't have any surprising attacks much like the gamma metroid 
Actually, that's not true. The Gamma Metroid's an asshole. No, nope, it has a laser. It does have a laser. But that's okay. You have fried fish. Now singular. Ow. Probably best not to stand right under me. Right. Yeah. Take this. Take that. Ow. I mean, I have a great sword. My options are uh, stand underneath it. Imagine if you had a gun. I could jump and fire like one shot. That would do a fairly amount of damage every once in a while. Oh, that's right. I forgot. You don't aim the gun like the directional. No, the gun just shoots straight forward. Yeah, I, I always forget that. You would think it would be, you know, aimed directionally, but... Yeah, you... What did he throw a punch? MP? MP. Yeah, magic, yeah. Huh. Oh, jump's gonna kill me. No. You can do it! Next time! There we go. Oh, this there time. you oh. go. Just like I planned. 19 health left. <laughs> invert. Yes, invert. Invert! Let's go save. I was going to say, uh, you probably get oh, that's so dangerous. Oh, no! <laughs> Okay, so make a mad dash across the room to the teleport room. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Thank you. Whew, it was hail one. Moth. I, I <laughs> never meant hail moth, man, nor than I meant <laughs> <laughs> It was thinking about it. It was, it's what it's what it do. Bite. Ah, big spike. Yep. That's right. That was what I had to farm in this area for. I think I do now, buddy. I guess I'm just going to stand on the ceiling. It's way long. I'm not See, on the ceiling. I, I, You're on inversion the is another great tool that can break a lot of encounters. Lohan Green. Lohan Green, which I'm, is uh, effectively a great sword? Yep. Yes. Oh, yes, it is the fire sword. It means we can craft this Gram into the ice sword and then make uh, the super great sword. I think it's technically the second best great sword in the game. Flamethrower! Wait a minute. Wait a second. <laughs> Was this just bad? I mean, it's hard to see in. It is. Yeah. Like, I'm trying to remember why I didn't remember having this, because... Oh, because it's that type of flamethrower. Not the type we want. 
Yeah, you you build it up. And then, and then you know, fall right <laughs> at your feet. It's okay, wow. it happens to like some people. Yeah, okay, yeah, no, I, I, it, yeah. How big can I get this thing? I think that's about it. Yeah. Oh, that fires multiple. They just don't go up very high because it, uh... Yeah, they're mortar shots. Well, that's the thing. Yep. I was expect. I, I was kind of guessing like, is that gonna be that giant flamethrower that uh, Miriam used? Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I'm like, wait, like, do I not remember that being a thing that was usable because it sucked, and I put it out of my mind? No, because it doesn't exist. Egg souffle. Egg souffle. Egg souffle. All right, do the rest fight or rest the uh, game inverted. Inverse. Let's just place the links back over to here. Yep. Inverse. Back to that teleport room. There's still one or two rooms in that horrible area we can explore. A few chests in there that are uh, worth getting. Level up! Inhuman carapace. Well, yes, but... Use the hose on me again. Chest you missed. Uh, yeah, that is it. No, no, that's not a chest I missed. That's a respawning one. Technically, I missed it going back through this time, but... Yeah. Excuse me. Now oh, we're being all pacifist again now, huh? All right, that was lethality ring. Oh, lethality. Increases the damage in both the fights. I think this was a regular respawn chest. Yeah. Hail Mothman. Hail Mothman. Hail Mothman. Oh, Don't get your money's worth out of the hoax. Like, you don't need to do a. Uh, no, yeah, that's, that's actually big enough to. Ultimate ammunition.
Risk Rain. Oh, Risk Rain. Oh, uh, yes. Trashes your defense. And your con. Quick Massively power. raises your strength. Int I mean, 15. It's a far less increase to strength than defense. Or strength than a... Mm -hmm. It's for the people that can get through this without getting hit. People yep. better than me. Ow! Asshole! Wham! I think that was the only place we didn't do... Oh, there's one chest back to start. Yeah. Do it now, just so I don't have to come back and do it later for map completion. It also, if I remember correctly, actually has a good armor in it. If I recall correctly, it has flame mail, which is uh, really good armor. Granted, uh, it is an armor we will soon be ignoring for a short bit. Well, it's an armor we'll ignore for one specific piece of armor we have to do. Bad dog. Mm, that curry powder. Flame Scarf. That's the thing. Asshole! Very fun. <laughs> I oh, stole this egg. dragon egg. It will make a meal out of that dragon egg. Bugs are kicking your ass. Bugs are indeed kicking my ass. <laughs> One of the things that I would laugh if, like, certain things actually fell with you, like the lava. Take this. Hmm? Excuse me. Ow. Shard. Yeah, but in there. Bark, bark. There's something on it. Hail Mothman. Hail Mothman. Hail Mothman. Yum. Oh, you're almost at quad digit health. Right. One more health upgrade will do it. Uh, uh, this one. Yeah. Remember, there's only two things you want here. There are a couple items I can get here. That's true. That there's like two or three in the. Uh... Yeah, but there's like two specifically really good things if I remember correctly here. The uh, Valkyrie headpiece and uh, the Aegis armor. Uh, what, what, whichever armor it is that gives you protection against uh, spike damage. the Aegis Plate. Aegis Plate. There it is. Hey! This is required armor. Well, not required. You can brute force, but... Yep. Uh, it only has 25 defense, but negates all damage from traps and hazardous environments. Yep. Like yeah. that? Bam. Wow, 
thought you still had so much of the map left. Well, I mean, yeah, this one's just a big circle I didn't do it earlier. Yeah. Because I knew we'd be back. Yep, fair enough. Oh, this I didn't have with on, did it? How dare you, how dare you strike him with her own spell. <laughs> Zoom. You go. Zoom. <laughs> Hi buddy. Uh, from the ceiling, really? Ah, oh, nice. Uh, beast Guardian. Pull a wolf from the wolf plane. I don't remember if there were any chests you have to do. Oh, what, invert for? Uh, for on this section of it. Or are they, I don't remember. Or are they in the top? I don't believe so. There were some down below that I don't think you were able to get to at the time when we started. Pretty sure that they're all actually all uh, the top section. Wait, you sure it's not down that that area? Because I think there's a chest down there that we uh, needed no. get to get to. That's just a respawning chest. No, 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 down in the section below this. Yeah, that's just a wall. Was it? Oh. Maybe it's on the other half I'm thinking of yeah, for that? Yeah, it's in the other half. There's, there's like two you have to have invert to get to on the other half. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Crazy. To be noted, the upgrades to the invert gem do give you invulnerability frames. Yep. Uh, which I have actually used to get one of the medals. Good chest. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright, seriously, you were testing werewolf right in the middle. <laughs> Pasta dishes. Hair of turn seven. Nice. Think My favorite of the Hair Parent series. Someone laughed. Uh, I don't 
I'm actually oh, trying to remember if that's my favorite hairstyle. Because <laughs> if it is, that'd actually be kind of funny. That's another good chest. Oh, that's full of weapons. What? Chest full of weapons. That girl, Ruby, and Seth. Yep. Uh, a week away. Final of the trio will be in uh, 14. And then we'll see if uh, they decide to give us diamond. Thanks for the shard. Wow, these uh, chests are going crazy with damage. Yeah, good. Those are used for upgrading a lot of shards and uh, some weapons and uh, headpieces. Yep. And rings, I think. There's like a lot of shit that use those gems. I realize now you can get the uh, ammo upgrade that's in that previous area. A speed belt. Have you learned? Here's what I've turned up. Got Good. some crystals. Have you... Here's what I've Good. Got a diamond. Hi, Miriam. So, what will it be? What's what's your face looking for? Um. Uh, curry. Curry ring. No, no, not the not uh the food demon. Oh, um, a tea dress. Okay. A thing we can't make because we don't have the, uh... Well, all the armor that we can't make because we don't have cotton or driver wax. It's like a farm lost screen at some point. Uh, however, I should be able to make... Oh, we don't have the, uh, the need for it. No, we need to make an ice ring. Either. Oh look, an ice ring. Done! Look at that sapphire we used. Yep. Now... We can make Shadar. And Durandal. I'll go with this. Ooh, I like it. The precursor to Halo. And, oh boy, look at that attack. Yeah. No, it hits like a truck. Uh, there, there is one great sword more powerful than it. Which we can't even make yet because we don't have uh, the, uh, the ultimate weapons recipes. There's stuff we could make, but we none of it increases int or increases uh, luck. I mean, if I remember correctly, the uh, the best luck headpiece you'll stop. Uh, you get from inverting at the tower, which I'm going to look up to confirm that, because I'm fairly certain that's where you get it. And uh, we can't make curry yet. I need to go farm uh, leaves for it. I don't. Well, we're gonna go do one thing, so we can do it now. Take a good done as soon as we got the collector ray, but. Oh no, uh, I am of, uh, armor. You can get the armor now. The headpiece is from, uh, the Den of Den of Behemoths. And, uh, what scarf do you have on? Uh, bunny scarf. That is the best luck scarf. Yeah. Boy, it hasn't been changed. Here that requires. Oh, wait, no, it's. I'm gonna go around. Yeah. 
Head foil. Woo! Technically speaking, we can get out this as soon as we got, uh, Reflector, right? Uh, so do you want to know where you get the Valkyrie, uh, dress? Mm. Uh, so in the tower, the doorway that enters the Twin Dragons fight, uh, -huh. uh invert above that doorway. Okay. Go do that real quick after we're done here. But yeah, no, you have two sections left to go, I think, before you can uh, get the head headpiece. Where's the headpiece? Uh, it's in the den of beam. Oh, the den, yeah. Uh, one second. All we have to do is do Oriental Research Lab for that. Mm -hmm. Requires invert. Or high jump. Oh, or high jump, technically, yes. So you get invert for you get high jump. Yep. But the good news is the next area you're going to has a. Uh, bovine blooms. Yep. Or access to bovine blooms. Piss off, bird. Which just required double jump, and that's also a fast travel point back. You just bet you wouldn't look at him. Okay. Chair. Capacity upgrade. And a culvert. So it's in the Twin Dragons Tower. Mm -hmm. The room you're uh, in right before the actual uh, okay. boss by itself. The guide says for it, or not guide, but when I looked up a uh, luck build, like best equipment for it, that's what they said. Ooh. Oh man, I can hardly wait till we get to one fight. It has Delphius. Uh... Okay, so if it's not right there. It must be literally invert in uh, the thing. So like when you first get in there. Invert there. That looks like a no. And we are inverted. Yeah. Ah, oh, there right it there. is. 
Docker dress. Yep. Docker dress. Yeah. For uh, luck builds, that is the best piece of armor. Shit. Oh yeah. This is uh, like no, it's a pair guy. Yep. Fascinating. People. Level up. Todd. You know, I made the joke that seven was my favorite. Uh, well, one, Seven's two, actually three, my four, favorite. Five, six, seven. Uh, that's no, no. Starting from the front. One, two, two three, four, three, five, four six, five, six, seven. I think that's huh. seven. Uh, no, oh, okay, we already had that. Yeah, that's on seven. Uh, huh. Thought I counted it right. Wonder oh. how they do the ordering then. Either. Pointtail actually doesn't look bad. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Are 13 heir apparent, uh, or hair apparent things? No, Pointtail doesn't look bad. Yeah. Uh, blue. The look suits you fine. Because you're not dead. That's a very bad curse. <laughs> Sorry, cat. Kid Kitty, no. So, we can get this, which we have gotten earlier. So that. Here, you want a uh, you want a club with broken shards of glass in it, yeah. or obsidian? Obsidian. Yeah. Also. Well, this is that area we can get to earlier. No, there's stuff all the way at the top. But I don't think we can actually get to it with invert. No, because there's physically a yeah. barrier in the way. This nice means you have to go through a different well, there's a bell. To yeah, I mean, yeah, there's oh, a bell. But... Dumbbells. Uh, shards. This one. Yeah, I don't think that one breaks. No, that one doesn't break. Down its head. Well, it's scary when you die in three swings. 
still too many swings. Dude, they still look fucking hell. Like, seeing how everything else in that area seems to die to one hit from that thing? Ugh, that was way too much fucking health for that thing. Yep. Alright. Aw, oh, that sweet, sweet map completion. Yep. Also, you had also on upside down uh, statues with upside down fire. You guys, what's up? Just now noticed that. I think it's actually the first time I've actually observed it. And the reason why you need to get that armor that reduces the uh, damage you take from. Uh, or that makes you immune to hazards. Because this uh, giant thing, thing of uh, spikes it. I don't think you can do it properly upside down for it. Oh, okay, guess can. It just okay. stuck in the middle for some reason. We. Don't think there was anything over here. No, it's just a little map gap. Yeah. It's fun to say. Yes, my first playthrough, I did do this just by brute forcing my way through. A lot of healing items? <laughs> Pretty much. I'm not gonna lie, I looked it up. Because I kept dying there and I didn't want to waste 50 million healing items on that stupid part. Get the crow head. I'm like, I'm like, there has to be a way to get through this without just spamming healing items. That the answer was age plate. It's like, okay, cool. I mean, I, I looked it up after I already got through it, so I was like, there had to be a way besides just spamming stuff. I was like, yep, sure enough. There was. Inverse. Now make our way. Just realize the there's, something you should have, there's something you should have grabbed before coming in. What's that? Oh wait, no, we don't we can't use it yet anyways. We don't have the skill we need. What do you think we should have grabbed? A waystone. Eh. But like I said, we don't yet have the skill we need to uh, do it anyway. Hi buddy. Cause look who it is! Get yeah. old Benjamin! She, she's totally stuck in there. Keep in mind, what he is, is a saying? regular ass human who just happened to remember or know of this place so that he envisioned it when he used a waystone. Yep. other side. Okay, now you have to teleport in. Uh-huh. Can't cheat your way there. Yeah, you gotta kill 13 of those fucking monkey things. It's fine, there's 20 of them. Yep. Oh, I'm not saying fucking monkey things because of uh, how many you have to kill. Look how annoying they are. I could dime a dozen, but man, are they annoying. Let me get the bandit blade to get back to you. 
Slip behind yeah. homes. Oh, it was sand steel. Oh. You do it enough times. Oh. <laughs> yeah, D Durandal has the uh, the charging upswing. Nice. What? Nice to get that twice in a row. Yeah. Oh boy, a potion. Terrafram 2. I don't think this one will fall. Nope. I don't think so. No, that, that's literally the only way into this uh, section. Until you get, you know, teleport. Teleport, yep. I mean, I know what you're talking about. Teleport. Surely in a possibility such as that doesn't exist. I'm right, it's not, because it's not called teleport. It's called like dimensional shift. Yeah, or something dimensional like that. shift. Red beans? Mm -hmm. Like like red bean paste. Oh. I don't remember if red bean paste is actually something you can make or not, but. Uh I believe the red beans like manju are, but I don't think paste itself is. Aha, a trick! Here's where you find these assholes. Yep. Take this. Ramen! You ever have those moments of sudden realization that you're an idiot? Huh. The fact that you used invert for that one, and I don't think I've ever used invert for that room. I think I have literally always farmed up a uh, bovine plume in high jump. Oh, too late. Stupid monkey. Yeah, because in the heroes, if the ninjas don't see you, they won't actually aggro. Yep. Uh, if no one hits one of the things. Ah, uh, Also known as how to beat the ever living shit out of, uh, Bale. Settle down, <laughs> ninja spray with the hose. Yep, why are you terrifying up there, cat? Well. Gotcha. There's teleport room. Uh, and this will actually be the point we'll call it for this evening. Yep. We made some good progress. Yeah. Yeah. Next week we'll finish off the uh, Oriental Sorcery Lab. Because really there's not a ton to it. Uh, and then uh, into the last two zones of the game. So it's a good, there's a decent chance we'll actually finish the game. Uh, next week. Okay. Well, Very low level for that too, actually. I'll, I'll do some uh, some grinding so we can make some stuff. Make sure that we've got all the, like, base map areas, uh, done. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we can possibly also do the secret boss. <gasps> the secret boss. Because, uh, he's a bit tough. Yes. And, and, I, and I don't know how well we're going to do it at level 34. To be fair, by the time you get the stuff, uh, like, stuff for them, you might be closer to 45. The, some of the stuff you're going to be dealing with in the next two areas, 
are really good farming for XP. Yeah. But in any event, that was it for us tonight. Uh, I was again Shiv. I'm Krampus. And I'm Hunter Green. Right, I hope you have a good night, everyone. And, you know, be careful of your rituals. Hail Mothman. Hail Mothman! Mothman.